number five area, an implant in number three, and then there's some hardware up in here from a previous injury. The first thing I'm going to do is start giving some numbing medicine in these areas. Just kind of get this working. So right here is the improbable nerve. I'm going to put my nerve, right, uh, my needle right in that area and put some local anesthetic in there. So if, I don't know if you can see, but it goes right there. Aspirate to make sure you're good. good. Okay, and then you need to get the palate numb as well. So a little bit of numbing medicine here, a little numbing medicine here as well. Now I'm going to do some expiral. Get all the local anesthetic on board to start off with. So, Step number one is to get the plate out. <clears throat> okay. Get some so making sure my incision is big enough. And I have a big enough flap to cover the entire area, including enough laxity in the tissue to remove that plate, place the implant, and then close things up as well. So there's my incision. So now what I want to do is raise a flap. Now, because of the injury and the trauma, this tissue can be pretty tenacious and difficult to elevate a flap, but not always. So I'm going to take this right here. Probably like a amalgam. Mm -hmm. It's probably amalgam from a previous spilling. Oh no, it's not. It's suture. Did you see that? Yeah. Oh wow, Shelby. No, it's squeezed out. Oh, what is that? No. It's what? not. Suture. Oh yeah, it's coming out of that little. It's not suture. No. It's not supposed to be there, though. Well, good yeah. reads. I wonder if it's like. Something from the plate. Like did she have allergic reaction? No, it's not really? infection or something. Yeah. Homogenic bacteria. She needs some yeah. waterfall, huh? So, so was that again, again on the plate, plate then? No. no. Okay. It's not infection, necessarily? Which it's a great question. I'm not really too sure what the heck that was. Huh. Which she got there? Is it heck or...? Dean I don't oh, know. Um, yeah, oh, yeah. It is uh, like a Phillips. Oh. So. I'm going to actually go a little bit farther forward there. Okay. Okay. So I need this little vertical release to be able to adequately reflect this tissue so that I can see the plate. And be able to remove that plate. So you can see there's the anterior aspect of the plate. Now I just need to follow it superiorly. What was her injury? I think it was a zygoma fracture, cheekbone fracture. Yeah. But I don't know the mechanism. Okay, so this goes really far up there. And I haven't even reached the truth yet, so... I think what we'll do, I think I took out these two screws, I'm going to section the plate and then leave the rest of that up high, it'll be easier on her in the end. So let me have a um, screwdriver, 703. Mm -hmm. You just need to bring it closer if you don't mind. Um, Kelly, mosquito pickup. Hot fire? Hot fire. <laughs> she wants to keep this. Yep. Okay. Cool. Okay, seven oh three. A big fan of respirations. Okay. So, sure. Okay.
Okay, so can you see that plate? So what I'm going to do with the plate is cut it right here. So we're going to pop it That for a second. So this, we'll just lift off, and then we'll pick it up. There's some part work. I'm going to just make sure that that's smooth. I don't want that to be rough or bothering her in any way. Okay, so that we have some irrigation. And I guess we can take away that seven or eight. We don't need that anymore. I'm going to go wrong here. So this soft tissue right here needs to go. It has like some little metal fragments in it. We'll just get rid of that. Okay, so now it's all nicely cleaned up. Alright, so now we're talking about implants. Very nice. I'm going to switch off the profile. Yeah, it's gonna be like right, right where Heather's head is, Mary. You're probably gonna have to go on the other side. <laughs> this is where it gets real tricky. Yeah. Okay, so if you will come up with like this, the light, sorry. There we go. So I just had to find the right way that that actually seated in position. Bike block, you'll notice that one of the wings is cut off the bike block. So that I can place this in between. Keep the bite, keep the clip seated, and have her open enough that I can actually work. She does have like a fairly difficult, not difficult, but just like her airway is just a little touchy, so we can just kind of work with that. Okay, push me through, please. percent overall drop in opioid use and with the proper understanding and use of Expril, you too can see the success that Expril will bring to your clinic. Dr. McClelland, DDS, has been using it in his clinic for a few years now, and he's seen great success in his patients and their pain management every day. In this six-video series, you get a professional master class that will give you the jump start you need to include Expril in your daily routine. It includes a bonus PDF with a patient information handout post-op medical instructions, and a quick look sheet for the materials and supplies for explaining Expril. Go to teachable.com today and get educated on a non-opioid anesthetic that will help your patients have a better day.